feel like this mountain gets bigger every time I climb it. Oh yeah? It feels the same to me. Come on, you grew up here. It probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. When are you gonna install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, and I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, oh, I think I left it in my other jacket. Oops. Hey, guys. Get up here okay? Yeah. Well, more or less, but it is so good to see you. What's up with him? Yo, yo, we get things moving up here or what? Yeah, man. Hey, you doing all right? I mean, I know it must be really tough without your sister. Stop. I just meant that. No, I know what you meant. You know, seriously, I'm over it. And I just I want us to have a good time, you know? Like we always used to. Damn it. It's a freaking thing. It's iced. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in, they're just all locked. There's gotta be like a window around the corner we can get like, get open or something. Wait a second, are you saying we should break in? <laughs> I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey, not if I don't report you. Um, <laughs> lead the way, coaches. Hi, Chris. So, how are you doing? Good, but a little cold. I think I could use some time curled up by the fire. Yeah, that does sound pretty nice. Ashley was looking pretty hot today, right? She's like a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? And I just want to rip that parka right off of her and make some snow angels, right? No. Absolutely. When are you going to take her to the bone zone? <laughs> like, that could ever happen. Come on, man. She practically spends her entire life with you as it is. Well, yeah, but we're like friends. Listen, dude, look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities? You and Ashley, alone at last. You've laid all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now, you come in for the kill. I don't know, man. How can you not know? What if it's, like, weird? What if she, she might, like, I don't want to be friends with me anymore if I try something like that. I mean, weren't you just listening? You got to buck up, bro. Grow up here. <sighs> so, how are we planning on breaking into my parents' lodge, bud? I didn't say I had a plan. You sounded like you had a plan. You better deliver, Cochise, or else you got four lovely ladies who are going to be freezing their buns off. And last time I checked, that's not a good way to get laid. Oh, shoot. Nobody likes cool buns. Hmm. We got ourselves a thinker. Nice one. attention in climbing class. You mean Jim? 
Yeah, you know, with the climbing up the rope. Whoa. Did I do that? I, I don't think so. Here, use this. Whoa, Chris, I just got an awesome idea. Yeah? Totally. What, what is it? Okay, so I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's, it, how's a stick of deodorant gonna help? Spray on, it's a can. Oh, yeah, now I gotcha. Flamethrower. Just like we do with the little army dudes. Yep, ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and whoosh. Bye bye, frozen lock. Bingo. All right, so you got this. I'm gonna go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? Nope, but I'll do it. Godspeed, Pilgrim. How was that?
Oh. Hi, Chris. Very funny. Oh, how'd you know it was me? Shouldn't you be, like, getting the lock open or something? On it. This is Sergeant Tate again. It's bad news, I'm afraid. Yeah, we've been through the case files, and there's nothing we can do. He's a free man. We don't have the legal power to restrict his movement. Uh, I know it's not what you wanted to hear, so call me if you want to know more. 
end of messages. Freezing our buns off out here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll, I'll be here all week. <laughs> ah, crap, that thing freaked me out. What was it? Are you okay? It was like a bear or tiger or something. Oh, it was just a cute little baby Wolverine. Baby? Don't worry, buddy. You're gonna be a big boy soon. Home sweet home. Sweet is not the word I use. Oh my gosh, it's so good to be inside. Even if it's still kind of freezing in here. I'll get a fire to go. This place barely looks any different. Yeah, nobody's been up here. Even with all the police coming in and out? Not a lot of action up here lately. Nope. What's up, party people? Hi. Hey. Make yourself at home, bro. We'll do. Yeah. Come on in. Take a load off. Have whatever you want. You just take whatever you want anyway, right? Whoa. Easy there, cowboy. Mike, stay away from our girlfriend. Dude, what are you talking about? Stay away from Emily. Emily? Why would I want anything to do with Emily? <laughs> Quit being such a dick, man. Nobody wants you here. Seriously, what's your problem, you meathead? Bitch! Hey, hey, get off me! Hey! What the hell is wrong with you two? I mean, we didn't come back here just to tear each other's heads off. I mean, we came. Back here to have a good time, right? Hey, Mike, why don't you and Jess go check out the guest cabin I told you about? Yeah. Yeah, cool. You wanna head up there? Sure. So, Josh, uh, should we get this fire going? Where's my bag? Huh? My bag, the, the little bag with the pink pattern, the one I got on Rodeo. Matt, are you, are you listening? Oh my God, don't you remember? Next to the Italian shoe place where I got the stilettos and you knocked over the rack while you were drooling all over that girl at the counter? Well, I mean, she was asking about my letter jacket. Right, because she gave a shit about your designer letter jacket. Why do you hate my jacket? Matt, I need my bag. Oh my God, Em, you, maybe you just forgot it. Do you seriously think I'd forget my bag? Whoa. Do you? I guess not. You must have left it down by the cable car station. <sighs> Come on, hon. We'll be back soon. And then we can get warm. We can get very warm. Okay. Okay, let's go. Oh, 
Okay, I'm gonna go take a bath. <sighs> Exiled. Sexiled. <laughs> Works for me. Ugh, bar. How far is this cabin anyway? This cabin is the coziest, most romantic love den you will ever lay your eyes upon. <laughs> if we ever make it. I have a feeling luck's on our side. Play your cards right and maybe you will get lucky. Hey, porn stars. You're gonna need these. Porn star? I paid to see you. Uh, gross. Hey, I'm sorry to kick you out like that. No worries, man. Oh, I'm sure you'll find a way to entertain yourselves. Mm-hmm. You have fun with the peanut gallery. <sighs> oh, I almost forgot. Gotta fire up the generator so you can see where you're going. It's dark out there. All right. Roger that. I think Josh was flirting with me. Okay. You want to invite him up with us? Wait, really? What? No. Photo booth? All right, read my mind. <sighs> okay. Oh my god. <laughs> this is perfect. We're like the cutest couple. Damn. You should be a model. You keep that camera handy, and maybe I'll let you start my portfolio at the cabin. Wink. Noted. <sighs> Burr, it is freezing out here. Now that's something I can help you with. And how are you gonna do that? Uh, I got a few things in mind. Not a lot of TLC for this place anymore. Kind of a bummer. So what the heck was all that muscle flexing back there with you and Matt? Dick, right? Dude has no business coming at me like that. He's got any brain and that huge dumb melon. He better find it and use it or he's gonna get wrecked. Wow. Nasty Mikey. Just riled up. Me likey. Huh. Guess this thing needs juice or something. Didn't Josh say there was a generator? Fire up the jetty and get moving. Where's the jetty? Sam, the gates shall open. Pretty 
good, right? Yeah, totally. That was just awesome. Oh, yeah. I bring the hits. <laughs> Psyched yet? You don't look psyched yet. I am so psyched right now. <laughs> it's like a little adventure, a sexcapade. Wow. Police tape. From Hannah and Beth. You'd think they'd clean it up. Well, they never close the investigation. Okay, I'm getting the creeps now. It's all such a blur. I can barely even remember what happened. Well, what I remember is that we played a stupid half-baked prank that probably got Hannah and Beth killed. Hey, I mean, it's not our fault they ran into the woods. Yeah. How could anyone have expected them to do a dumb thing like that? I don't think we can get up to the cabin with a path block like this. Oh, no way am I going back to the lodge, a.k.a. Wax Museum, to drink hot chocolate with Emily. Ah! Ah! Jess! Fuck! Oh. Hey, Jessica! Yep. Hey. Um, okay. Holy crap, you scared the heck out of me. How do you think I felt? Uh, you didn't hit your head or anything. As far as I can tell, I still have all seven of my limbs. <laughs> uh, yeah. Can you get out? I... I don't know. I can hardly see anything down here. All right, coming after you. Just stay put. Hey, handsome. Want to help me move this cart thing? Just grunting together. This is not what I pictured. the good kind of willies. Can I offer you a little comfort and reassurance? <laughs> we'll save it for the cabin, Buster. This is like 
historical. Holy bat cave. He's gotta be Native American, right? Ah! Ah! You all right? Uh, yeah. Close one. I don't think this place is up to code. Yeah, I'm thinking it's time to go. This place is a real fixer-upper. Well, well. When Josh said cabin, I felt like Abe Lincoln. <laughs> Where do you see the Lincoln bedroom? Oh, are you planning on getting presidential on me? Uh, take a ride on Air Force One. <laughs> all right, all right. Save it for the stump speed. Oh, a telescope! Gonna look at the trees, gonna look at the flags, gonna look at the cabin. Uh, whoa. You all right? I just saw someone at the cabin. Hey, Jess? Mm-hmm? Stay close by, okay? What's up? Uh, this posting says there's some brown bears up here sometimes. Oh, Michael, I have the best idea. What? Let's go hug a bear. Come on, please! Come on! Let's not hug a bear. <laughs>
Oh, poor Mikey. Did the little birdie get your panties all bunched up? These things are gross. Like diseases and shit. Josh, can you have at least cleared out the path before sending us up here? <laughs> really? What? I didn't figure you for the glass half empty type. You got a better idea? Stand back, Debbie Downer. <laughs> oh, boo! Show off. Hey, Mike, you got something on your face. Ah! Boo! Okay, okay. That's how it's gonna be. Yes? <coughs> yes! Sammy! What? You wanna help me get this fire going? Uh, well, I was just getting into the bath. Oh. Oh, do you need any help with that? Hardy R. Come on. All right, Josh, let's see if you know how to hook up the hot water in your big fancy lodge. Mike.
relief in your mom. Yeah, totally. Woohoo! Let's go, Josh. Let's go. Things are a joke, man. They don't do shit. No way, bro. I mean, we used to do it all the time. Me and well. Hey Josh, no hot water's kind of major oversight, don't you think? Yeah, yeah. You just gotta fire up the boiler. It's in the basement. All right, you guys, see if you can find the spirit board. Chris, let's go find it. It'll be like a scavenger hunt. Um. Okay. Guess so, Brad. You're not gonna regret it. You up for a ride along? how I gave Chris and Ash a mission together. Yeah, I was thinking they could use some alone time. They are very sweet together. I wish they'd just freaking get on with it already. I swear, they just need, like, something to bond over, you know, some sort of traumatic event to send them into each other's arms. I mean, at this rate, they'll be in the geriatric ward before Chris makes a move. <laughs> Sam. Yes, Josh? I just wanted to say... Uh, what? It really means a lot to me that everyone came back this year and you know that you came, Sam. I'll, look, I'll be honest. It's definitely weird being back here, but I think it'll help us all put everything behind us. Um... I want us to have a good time, you know? 